What's up guys, it's me Life Simmer, and welcome to the Sims 4 Get to Work LP. So before we start this part, first of all, I want to actually talk to you guys and apologize for not being so frequent on this channel for the past couple of weeks. I've just been, I guess, going through a lot of self-discovery is the best way I can put it. The last couple of weeks, just uh, with a bunch of relationships and stuff. I mean, everything's all good. You guys know I me. just, I don't know. I've been kind of focused on that a little bit, but everything's fine. Everything's good, like I said. And I just want to let you guys know I sincerely apologize. I don't want you guys to think like, oh, I don't like YouTube. I don't like you guys or I don't like The Sims or just gaming in general because that's definitely not it. I just have been dealing with some stuff on my own. With that being said, hi. I'm excited to be back. I want to post at least twice a day until I kind of catch up. And also, I've been posting on my second channel. So if you want to go check that out, you can. And I will definitely be posting more on there. I actually want to film some more for that channel today too. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. And we are back with a new house. You guys know how much I love new homes. <laughs> this house is made by my fantastically amazing friend Cassandra. I am like, I love her so much, Cassandra, if you're watching this. You are amazing. Um, so I needed a cheaper home because we don't have that much money. <laughs> we had like 20 something thousand that I could spend on this house. But I'm very happy with what we have for now. This is still a starter home. This is by no means my final house or anything. So up front, yeah, got our shrubberies and a little garden to the right of the house. And then when we walk in, we have a bunch of eggs because eggs. If we head into the kitchen, uh, as you can see, I the kitchen's always been my favorite. Place to decorate, always will be. I love decorating kitchens and I don't have very much in here because we are pretty broke. As you can see, I used the new perfect patio uh, table set in here and I think it looks really cute actually. And just, you know, television. This is our little activity room for things that couldn't fit in bedroom in here to create a little room that they could work on their stuff, <laughs> their skills. And then here is the downstairs bathroom, which there is two bathrooms in this house. Praise, praise. So in here, I do use some custom content in this house, you will notice. I just kind of went with this burgundy gray sort of theme. And uh, yeah, it's very simplistic, but I mean, there's not much in a bathroom that you need anyways, so. Yeah. Here's my living room. It has the sofa set that came with Get to Work, which I actually really, really like. Put some pillows on it, uh, some wall art that <laughs> is absolutely gorgeous. A uh, big old TV. Curtain, some pictures, and this little plant. Uh, out back, there's literally nothing. So that's always fun. <laughs> then if we head upstairs, I actually decorated the boys' room outer space themed. I oh, know. I found this custom content. It is from The Sims 2. It was converted for The Sims 4 and I'm just like, oh, oh yes honey, yes. This works perfectly and you can't say it doesn't. It's like alien baby, so it's like, oh yes. I put their little birth certificates and all of that in here. Some space themed posters and even a computer. And then over here is the girls room. I couldn't really give them individual rooms quite yet because I couldn't afford it. So Bellatrix and Jade will be sleeping in here. Then over here, I decided to give Mr. Levi his own room because he is working so hard and bringing in awesome promotions. And so, he's a um, I gave him his own room. He shot two babies out. Good enough for me. You could have your own room because you gave me a baby. I appreciate it. So, you know, I just have some doctor-themed esque sort of things over here in his bed which has a custom thingy on it over here is Brody's room I really don't know how I want to decorate his room quite yet I do really love this brown theme and finally the magnificent bathroom which is just so glorious <laughs> a shower and a toilet yay but um yeah that's the house it's very quaint and small and not much going on but I really do like it so uh speaking of which we're gonna have Jade go downstairs into my little craft room because I have one. I'm going to have her create a large classic painting. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to ask you guys. As you can see, I haven't really put up the selfie wall yet, which I want to. And I'm curious on, yeah, I just showed you guys the house. Where do you think would be a good spot? All right, so here we are at work with Miss Bellatrix. It's been a while since we've gone to work with Bellatrix. So I'm kind of excited to be here and do all of this. However, I heard every time you drink one of these, a day of your life is erased and gone so uh 
I guess you could say I'm living that YOLO life, guys. I guess you could say that. Upgrade the sim ray with the mind control clean. So, yeah, um, anything that has to do with the sim ray, I am down. It's pretty freaking neat. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So we're going to come over here and upgrade our mind control. I mean, upgrade our sim ray, which is also known as the dingle hopper in my game. I'm going to go ahead and take that now. And I guess I'm going to go, I guess, um, mind clean somebody. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to mind control. Honey, why can't I do it to you? Mind control. Mind control is some to clean. Why can't I do it? Maybe because there's nothing to clean right now. That's probably what it is. No. Great. We broke that. <laughs> Fantastic. We need to come over here and uh, water these plants for our job tasks. So we're going to head downstairs, do a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of hoo hee hoo ha ha, bang bang, walla walla bing bang, oo ee oo ah ah, bang bang walla walla bang bang. No? <laughs> okay then. All right, she needs to go potty actually. Yeah, go potty girl, go potty. We also need to mix a rose serum, which would benefit the boutique, which I know we haven't really been focusing on because I'd rather focus on their careers and you know, all that other stuff. So um, I think we're gonna come over here and uh, there is some new things that we can actually make, which would be pretty cool. Of course, we can make synthetic food, snake oil, which would cure any sim of any sickness red hot makes your sims angry rose perfume makes your sims flirty and slimify makes your oh slimify not slimify slimify makes your sl sims slimmer which we need two parsleys and two carrots for that and that's actually a very cool serum uh kind of seems like you know how it's like oh well i went to jenny craig it's it's kind of like that you know it's like oh here's the serum that if you take it's going to change your life. So that'd be kind of sell, be kind of cool to sell in the uh, boutique as well. So she actually wants to make the Slimify, but we need our stuff. And I don't believe I have parsley and carrots here. So that is something I will have to grow at home. I'd rather grow it at home because uh, people can snatch my goods up here and I really wouldn't appreciate it. So, um, yeah, she actually wants to have a little bit of fun. So I am going to allow her to let that fun rise a little bit because girls just want to have fun, you know? It is what it is, guys. And let's see. She wants to gossip with a co-worker. She wants to gossip with Arvin. I mean, okay. <laughs> if you really want to. So I guess we're going to come over here. Can I mind control him to clean now? No. Let's see. Ask for a DNA sample. Let's not. I'm going to have him. We're going to gossip about, oh, gossip about co-workers. Let's not gossip about aliens because we are one. <laughs> Shall we not? There we go. Also, in case you guys haven't been able to tell, I have gave Bellatrix a little bit of a makeover. I plopped a hair on her and I did do some new makeup. Um... You guys can't see it right now, but it's her new everyday wear and everything, you can tell. I just decided to take off the alien wear and give her something to kind of spice up her wardrobe. I personally think if I was an alien and I came to planet Earth and I saw all these normal human beings wearing clothing, I would take off my space suit and put some normal clothing on so she can kind of blend in a little bit more. Because I think a human, I mean an alien's mindset if they came to planet Earth would to be like, oh, I want to be human now. That makes any sense. And eat before we do anything because we are quite hungry. She will go ahead and just bite a sandwich. And um, she also needs to shower while she is here. The boys just got home, so hmm. I'm going to have them go ahead and build skill. Levi brought home 280 simoleons. Bellatrix is just going to go ahead and eat a little bit. And I do not believe we're going to get our bar completely filled. Our work day is coming to an end and we've really just been gossiping all day. <laughs> we might as well come over here and chat with the invention constructor at least. Yes, she's very tired. She's a little smelly. Aren't we all though? Aren't we all? 
All right, so yeah, she's just gonna chat to her little friend. And now that I see a pile of trash, can I actually tell somebody to clean it up? Can I, can I? Um, mind control? No, I wonder why I can't. Um, no, it won't let me. And our other work thing is to give a Sim synthetic food. But like I said, we have about an hour left of work. We can try really quickly to make a synthetic food serum. However, I don't know if we're gonna be able to give it to somebody today. And oh, cool. Who made 468? Brody, good job, buddy. Bringing in that money for the bills. I very much appreciate it. Well, guys, it looks like we're eating dinner tonight. How exciting. <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely not gonna have time to, um, might not even finish our synthetic serum. I don't know, but we made 648 simoleons. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting to make that much. Well, um, guys, I would say we are moving on up in the world. Gamula, baby. Did I just sound like a rat? I think I did. Do I look like a rat? I think I do. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, Bellatrix is now home. She's going to head upstairs, take a quick shower, and then, uh, I mean, she is pretty tired tonight, and I don't love that, but I would really love if she could, I don't know, work a little bit. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have her purchase some seeds, actually and start her garden back up, because unfortunately, I did get rid of the um, other plants and everything. She's feeling kind of insane right now. Shmoo, shmoo, shmoo. Sometimes wild mad thoughts enter one's head. This is one of those times. Well, gotta love having a psychotic person in your house. You really do. We are going to purchase uh, some seeds, some starter vegetables, and some starter herbs. Or herbs, I know people pronounce both ways. Some starter fruit, not starter flowers, because we don't we don't like your kind here. All right, and Mr. Brody, what's the matter with you? He's feeling very embarrassed from privacy violation. Oh, poor thing. Well, there's the bathroom downstairs. I know it's like a miracle. Why don't you go use that toilet? And Levi, what's the matter with you? You're actually in a fantastic. Are you effing? Kevin. Weird tummy ache. Lovey isn't feeling so hot. I must see something he ate. Dude. <gasps> what? So he really did get pregnant. Literally me right now. No, that's not me. He's like, well, it looks like we could deal with it in all. Mm -mm. No. What, what's his reaction to all of this? He's like doing the Dougie. Like Down it. AF. Uh-uh. And she's like, oh, well. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> And he's, okay, this is my reaction. Like, if it is a girl, I will keep it. If it is a boy, ta-ta, so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye. Meh. Adios, amigos. Uh-uh, Levi, why are you so fertile? Like, literally fertile Myrtle over here. Anyways, um, I am going to have Jade continue her painting. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just in shock right now. I thought we were good. I thought we got away scot-free without all of this. But I guess not. I guess not. <sighs> okay. It's all good. We'll handle it. We'll, 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 yeah, we can we can do this. The baby can sleep in the basement or something. Anyways, so the boys are socializing together, which is always good. Um, what does he need? Achieve level five in the social skill. So um, to do so, I actually need to purchase him a nice little teddy bear or something to talk to. I really want that one. I need to unlock it by completing the decorative eggs collection, which I am still working on like years later, right? I'm going to do just a normal big teddy bear. Move him somewhere. I'll move him in the closet. That's safe. Yeah, you want to go talk to your big friend? You want to go talk to Blarfy? Yeah? Well, he's in the closet. In the dark closet. All alone. Five nights at Freddy much. <laughs> Levi, what do you need for work? Oh, he's working on getting him a promotion. He should get one tomorrow, hopefully. You need it. Oh, he doesn't have work tomorrow or Saturday. Cool. This up. Throw this away. Bellatrix is already asleep, but I'm going to have her wake up really quickly. We're going to open up our seed packets. And if I saw this correctly, Levi did have some basil on him okay 
So we're going to plant a cherry tree. I'm actually going to plant that right there. Uh, this is basil or parsley. Parsley can go there. Um, spinach can go there. Basil can go there. Mushrooms can go there. Grapes. Do I need grapes? I really don't think I need to grow grapes. Um, we will do a plantain. And um, for now, that's all I'm going to plant. So plant, plant. Oh, she, she only needs that. Okay. So yeah, she's just going to go ahead and plant all of those really quickly. Make sure they're all done. And then I would like for somebody to food prep for a little bit. Uh, so my sims could just go to the fridge and take a meal and they don't have to constantly get small meals and everything. Uh, the only one who I believe doesn't have work tomorrow is Levi. So he's probably going to be the one food prepping for me. And he's pregnant, so I'm pretty much going to punish him for it. <laughs> he's asleep in this bed. Once again, wrong bed. But the kids are sleeping on your bed <laughs> or sitting on your bed doing their homework. So awkward. But she also doesn't have work, obviously. She works from home. So I'm going to have Jade go ahead and serve a bunch of meals. Uh, she'll food prep for me. Cosmo has completed his homework, therefore, you may go to bed. <laughs> Who's asleep in your bed now? Dude, stop being creepy. Go to your own bed. What? I just, unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Can you not sleep in your bed? Really? I do have a custom content thing on it, but my sim should be able to sleep fine in it. All right, let me see. Don't mind me, guys. Oh, it's because I used move objects on when I was using this. Okay. Uh, let me really quickly just move around his room. Move objects on. Move that right there, that there. Okay. Okay. It should work. Fine. No, no. Ugh. Really, dude. It really should be fine. Is it really going to give me troubles? Sorry, guys. So this is taking a good minute. Um, you can move this out of there then. Will it work now? Yes or no? No! Oh, my gosh. Will it work now? Yes or no? No. So I'm assuming it is his comforter, which is a little annoying because it's super cute. I'll figure that off. Uh, figure that out off camera because for now, I guess he can sleep just like this. Um, since it's giving me trouble, can you get in the bed now, buddy? Okay. So she made some mac and cheese. Cool. I'm going to throw that in the fridge. And she's also going to go ahead and uh, cook some more food. She's not even hungry and she's eating. She's going to make some franken beans. Or hold on. Cook. Do, 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 do. Yes. Go make some franken beans. Just get some meals in the fridge. I really recommend if you have like a large family or something pre cooking. I used to never do it. I would cook as the time comes. But. Throwback to The Sims 2 prior to seasons when you literally could not pre-cook, when you could not put your food away as, as leftovers. And I remember when we received the leftovers aspect of the game, I was like, holy, yes, guacamole, mm, honey, mm. I was hype. Like, I was hype over being able to put food away as leftovers. So the fact that I wasn't using this for a while was just, like, mind-boggling. Really? Move objects? Um... 
it's nice, easy, quaint, and, you know, your Sims can just go grab whatever they want. I wish it worked that way. I never have leftovers in my fridge because I'm a beast, I'm a savage, and if there's food in this house, I'm eating it. Yeah, I'm actually super hungry right now. I, whenever I'm playing games, like, I've been addicted to Diner Dash lately, and I'll see the food, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, I am so hungry. I want it. <laughs> but then I'm like, girl, you're crazy. Like, that's virtual food. So, you know. Just the more you guys know. Let me go ahead and put that in there. She is going to uh, run herself upstairs and go to sleep now. And uh, everybody else will be waking up very shortly. Who has work today? Brody does. Is he almost? Yeah, he's ready to wake up. He's going to go downstairs and eat um, this macaroni and cheese that Jade left out. And then he needs to have a little bit of fun. So he will go watch some television. He will watch comedy. All right, and the boys are now awake. They have school, of course, so they're grabbing their, their food. He got, uh, Galaxy got some franken beans, and Cosmo got a normal meal <laughs> for Anyways, breakfast. guys, yes. I love you all so very, very much, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>